Hello, this is a video of the iPod Touch 16 gig review. And, um, no, it's a pretty good product. I recommend it for a lot of people. Um, right now you're actually looking at the iPod Touch 16 gig. But anyways, um, you know, this iPod holds up to 3,500 songs. It also holds up to 20,000 digital photos. And also, this iPod could hold up to 20 hours of video. You know, um, now the smaller this thing runs about $300. And if you don't know a lot of songs like that, or you know, you want something lower, the iPod Touch 8 gig is $130. I recommend all iPod products except the iPod Shuffle, but otherwise, um, you know, right here, if you don't know how to use, like, if you don't know how to add songs to your iPod, you know, it's really easy. I do mine's a little different from a lot of people. But the way I do it is I go to LimeWire. I go to LimeWire, I click a song, then I drag it all the way to iTunes. Then it says, my iPod, I put it in. And boom, it's just like that. But right now, I already added that song. I'll try it one more time. But there it goes. Going into sync and progress. And there we go. Um, you know, the, the bad thing about this product is the battery. The battery is real low sometimes. But otherwise, if you keep it charged up and stuff, you're all good. Um, and um, thank you for watching my video of the iPod Touch review of the 16 gig. And and you. Oh yeah, one more thing to tell you that um, once you buy the iPod Touch, it also comes with a charger that you hook onto your computer. It's just like a USB. It adds how you transfer songs, photos, and videos onto your iPod Touch and it also charges it and it also comes with a cloth and a manual so you know just get that just get that through your heads you should buy it thank you